Hello, my name is James Whistler. I'm an Ironspeed MVP, and this video is going to show you how to create and utilize multi table join queries in Ironspeed Designer applications. So, here we're looking at a typical uh, show table page. In this case, it's the show products table page in the Southwind database that ships with the Ironspeed Designer product. I've taken some of the content out here uh, for the purpose of this demonstration. But as you can see, we're, we're effectively looking just at a straight list of product information within a standard show table page. So let's, before we uh, dig into that, let's have a think a little bit about what we're going to do and how we can customize this to include fields from other uh, tables in our application uh, by using joins within Designer. So we're going to move into Designer, and here is the detail or the structure of that page that we were looking at a moment ago within our browser um, in Ironspeed Designer. As you can see over on the left within our application explorer we have the databases tab. If we click into that databases tab of course the table we were looking at in that page was the products table. So let's have a look at what we get within Designer within the databases tab. So here we are in the databases tab within Ironspeed Designer you can see the different tables that exist within the Southwind example um, in the Access database, one of which of course is products. And then when we look on the products table, we can see the different columns on, the ta on that table. Product ID of course is the primary key, uh, but we've got a number of other fields, notably the category ID and the supplier IDs, which are foreign keys to both the category and the suppliers table uh, respectively. Now let's say for example, as you can see I've expanded the categories table as well as the products table and you can see that on the categories table we've got the category name, description and picture. Um, now it could be for example that on my products page I'd like to display that detail uh, in the same row as my product information. There are numerous ways I could do that with designer. I could use the formulas tab to go and retrieve those fields for me by using get column value. Um, but in this case we're going to do that by building a custom query. So we go back to our pages and the page that we are working on is the show products table page. So here we see we're looking at the show products table page and here across the, uh, the second row we have the fields which are being sourced for us from the products table. And we'd like to add those fields that we talked about from the categories table in addition to the ones from the product. There are numerous ways we can get at that, but now we can go to the data sources tab and in there we can see the products table control query. And that's the query that Ironspeed is using to derive or to source the data for this table for us. If I just move this up slightly and there's our SQL statement. I can now edit that SQL statement and if I go back within my query wizard which pops up for me to the from section you can see now in the middle I have access to all of the tables and views that are currently existing within the database. The views of the tables on the right which I've selected already of course are the products one. I'm going to add in categories by just highlighting it in the middle and right clicking on here to move it across into the selected tables section. When I click next designer is now giving me access on the left to the co columns on the categories table and we decided that we were going to add the category name, description and picture. And that's all I want to do. You'll now see as we click through, Designer has automatically included a WHERE clause for us. Because our foreign key relationship exists within the database, Designer has automatically built that link between the tables and built the join for us between the products and the categories table. So there's no work for us to do there. Having said that, of course, we could either delete this, this relationship at this point, that's of course that's not going to remove the relationship from our database but just remove it from this particular query or we could click here to edit it so we could um, amend that particular join criteria should we want to. Underneath there you'll see we can also add additional WHERE clauses but underneath that there is a rename button and what I wanted to show you there or point out to you here on the right hand side of that rename button you can see the words show products table. 
by doing the work that we're doing here we are building a, a custom query within designer and that name show products table is the name that designer by default is going to give to our query so that that's all I want to do with this query at this point I'm gonna click finish and allow designer to finish the work for me but let's remember that name show products table so we can go back into our databases tab and have a look and see what designer has done that with that for us so I can now go over to here and on the right hand side we should see that I've now got an additional section within the fields area of my toolbox for the fields from the categories table that I can pull in so I'm going to pull in the category name the category description and the picture and you'll see when I do that designer in terms of the uh, content within the quick layout editor it's automatically prefixing these with categories underscore to ensure that I'm aware that they're being sourced from a different table rather than the products table. Having done that now, if we go to our databases tab, of course we have the original categories table and the products table that we had within designer already. Underneath there though, underneath the table section, we have a views node and underneath views we have custom queries. One of the custom queries that you will see in there now is the show products table and designer has built that for us as a result of the work that we've done within that query wizard I'm now going to click run we'll get our page running again um, and we can then have a look and see what our application looks like now we've included those additional columns onto the show products table page And now as you see we've got the existing or the previous uh, example of the show products page with our fields over on the right hand side which are being lifted from the categories table rather than the product. And that's all being done by building that custom join or custom query in Ironspeed Designer. So there's no need to build that as a view within our SQL database or access database. We can build that directly within Designer itself uh, without actually impacting or having to change our database schema. I hope that's a it's a very quick run through of how to build a multi-table join. Um, there is an awful lot more that you can do with that aspect of the product. That said, uh, one must always be aware of the limitations of that functionality. Designer is not intended uh, ultimately to be a query building product. Um, and so if you're looking to build very complex custom queries, it would still probably be to your advantage to build those into your database um, and then build pages from views uh, rather than attempting to build them as custom queries straight within designer. Um, that said, as you can see, for simple queries of this nature, it's very easy to go forward and build them directly in designer without having to build views in SQL. I hope that's been useful. Uh, this is James Whistler from Acid Yellow saying thank you for watching.